welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, we're going to be starting our animal ABC list. Finally, this is my How I Color Animals series. Uh, and today we are starting with letter A, and A is for alligator. So I am, uh, I went through a few of my books, pulled out a couple of different kinds of alligators or crocodiles or things in that um vicinity, I guess. Um, and I'm going to color at least one of the pages for you today and just kind of show you a few of the other ones. So the first one I found was very cartoony, very cute in the uh, Million Kawaii Cuties. And it's this little guy right here. He's holding an eraser. I think he's adorable. Uh, and I think there's might, might be a couple more spread out uh, in this book, but they're, they're very rare. Yeah, see, here's one in this little macaroon. It's just so cute. Um, yeah, she doesn't draw them very often, but I thought that <laughs> that little guy was adorable. I love his little triangles on him. But yeah, so there is that one from A Million Koi Cuties. Uh, and then also another more cartoony one is in Wondrous Wildlife. This is by Marjorie Sarnet. And I found this one, which I thought was really cool. Again, a little more cartoony than realistic, but... I really like, I love this page. I think it's an awesome page. And uh, I think it would be really fun, really fun page to do. So that is from Wondrous Wildlife. Then I found in Menagerie, I found one that I really love and it's this page. It's just the front of the crocodile, but it's the same kind of, you know, if, I think this one might be the one that I'm gonna color today actually. Um, and I'll show you how I do the, you know, the front, the face of the alligator, but it's, it's the same, technique, I guess. I mean, it's not really a technique, but uh, through the rest of the, the entire page as well. So, or not page, through the rest of the entire alligator's body, you would use the same kind of blending techniques and things like that. Uh, so this might be the one that I do today. I really like this page. And that's from Menagerie by Fabiana Atanasio. Then in uh, Ken Matsuda's coloring book, I found two examples. So I've got this one, which is a little baby alligator. He's coming out of a shell, I think, but then there's also like mushrooms and sea life and all kinds of things. I don't know if that's an egg. I think it's an egg, like he's coming out of his egg. But um, yeah, so there's that one. And then there's also a little guy here next to the hippo, which I thought was really cute. So. If you're looking for something, I know I know there's flowers and plants and everything growing every all over the place on them, but it's still the animal itself is very realistic. So if you're looking to color something more realistic, that's probably your go-to. Or in Fragile World, there is also this guy. Again, not so realistic here, but here he looks pretty. It looks pretty good, and I can't remember what this guy is. He's a a gharial, I think. He's a type of Asian crocodile. Um, but yeah, I thought that one was that one was pretty cool too. So, so those are the examples I found. I'm sure there are many others, but those were the ones, those are the books that I, I'm kind of going to be going back to, to, um, you know, show examples of different animals and things, because those are the ones that are my main animal books, I think. So, yeah, so I'm going to get started with my... Uh, coloring page and I've got some supplies pulled so I'm gonna get all that all set up and we will get started okay so I am going to do a page in well not a page I'm gonna color one little tiny alligator in this book uh, I when I showed you guys this earlier so I thought that this was an alligator but I'm pretty sure it's a dinosaur because he's here with all of his dino buddies so we're gonna go find a different cute little one in this book which is right here so there's one here and then there's a couple on this side, but I'm just gonna color this guy. I'm just gonna use my Crayola markers. Um, I probably should show you the inspiration images that I found too. So I've got ones that are definitely more cartoony over here and then a few that are a little bit more realistic, an actual picture of a, a realistic one. But um, yeah, I feel like crocodiles and alligators kind of they typically are colored green, but they're not always really green. Like this guy is not, he doesn't look green. He looks black and a little bit of brown and creams. And I know he's a baby, but 
I don't know. I mean, I know that they're kind of green, but I don't think they're like that green, you know? <laughs> So I guess it really just depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you want something more cartoony and less realistic, you can absolutely go with those colors because it looks still looks right to us because we've seen that so many times. Um, but if you want something more realistic, you can go like to these kind of colors or this color up here. Um, but for definitely for this page, we're going to go all straight cartoony. So I just have, actually, I'm going to grab one more marker. Okay, so I have, I added one more marker in. I've got a, a Tombow here. Then I've got two Crayolas. So I've got like a couple yellowy greens and then a pink that I'm gonna do for the cookie. Um, so we're just gonna get this color really quick. So I'm gonna start with my lightest yellow and there wouldn't be a whole lot of this showing. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of his like lighter tummy color uh, along the bottom of his body. Just a little bit right here. And then the rest of this is all gonna be darker green. So I'm just gonna get that colored real quick. Okay, and then for the cookie, I've got, I did grab another light pink as well, and that's gonna be for the, the little filling of the macaroon. And we'll do this pink for the cookie. All right, and then I have my Artex pencils here, so I'm just gonna use those to shade a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure that this is dry. I'm gonna let it dry pretty well so that I can color over top. Because sometimes when you don't let your uh, water-based markers dry and you try to color over top of them, it's the same with your alcohol markers. You have to let everything dry first, and then you can come in with your pencils and add all of the, the color. So I'm gonna pick my other colors here and I will be right back with you to color this. All right, so this is nice and dry now, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I've got a couple of the Artex pencils pulled here, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of shading. I'm gonna start with my chartreuse color first. Kind of blend that color out. And then we'll just add in the apple green. This might not be dark enough to do what I want it to do. Because it's basically the same color that I already put on there. So I need a little darker color. I'm just adding a little bit of shadow underneath the, the cookie part, a little bit of a line underneath his body here, along the backs of his legs. And again, right along the bottom of his his body, where I've got that other chartreuse color in there. And then since this other color, this apple green, is basically the same color as his body, I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend everything together and color over the uh, marker that I've already put on there and try to get it nice and smooth. And it might not be perfect, but that's okay. It's so just a fun little cartoony guy. That's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in some darker green little spiky things on him. And then I'm gonna do the um, macaroon real quick too. Okay, and there's my cute little, cute little guy. I'm gonna zoom out so you can, guys can see that a little bit better. All right, so now you can kind of see what it would look like a little farther away. It, you can see all the little coloring marks and everything close up, but farther away, it looks really cute. I like that. I might add some little stickles or something to the, the flowers, but this page, this whole page is just adorable. So cute. So, yeah. So that's how I would color a cartoony one. Very, basically the same colors that you saw on those other um inspiration images, just kind of the same thing. So, okay, we're gonna get started with uh, the actual fun page that I wanna color. So I will be right back with you. All right, so here is the page. We're gonna do the page in Mythographic for the alligator. And I've gone ahead and done alcohol marker work on the background. So all we really have left to do, I mean, I've gotta do some shading and stuff, but really just the alligator is what we're gonna color today. 
Um, I've been kind of going back and forth between a lot of different, um, more realistic kind of alligators. I don't think I can pull this off yet. This would be something that I would um, really have to sit and figure out. I mean, I, I probably could do it, but I think I want to do it on a more realistic drawing as well. Like maybe for this one, I could do like in that Ken Matsuda coloring book. But um, for this one, I think I'm going to go somewhere around in here. I do have a couple of colors pulled out in my alcohol markers. So I think I'm going to do a base in those first. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I have put this off for a couple of days so I because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. But we're going to try some stuff and see what happens. And yeah, um, so the bottom of him... I guess, so if you look at this one, like the lighter underbelly is really not, it doesn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't show on the side. Um, I thought about doing just a white alligator, but decided against that. I think this is a crocodile and not an alligator. I'm pretty sure, but it'd be the same, same concept as what, you know, as coloring an alligator. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do colors. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell about this, but I am, um, I, I don't know what exactly I want to do. So this is a little tricky for me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base of green and then I'm going to go over top of that with this green gray in my Ohuhu set, um, and see if I can kind of change the color just a little bit. Cause I don't want this green to match this background. Maybe I should do the gray first. I think I'm gonna do the gray first. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and color the entire alligator, except for the teeth, <laughs> with this gray. And I will be, um, I'll talk to you guys here again in a second. Okay, now I'm going to do a, the same thing, but with my green marker. I'm just going to cover all of them. So this will be more like a base coat. Um, and then I'll come in with my... Oh, this does not... I don't think this is a very... This might need to be refilled, which is unfortunate because I do not have this color. So we might have to find something close to this. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with it because I'm going to be coming back over top with my Prismacolor or with uh, pencils. So yeah, this is not working. Gosh darn it. All right. So I'm just going to go up between his eyes here. Kind of make that look like that's on purpose, maybe a different color. We'll do a little bit back here. Okay. I thought this had more ink in it, but it does not evidently. So let me see if I can find something close to this. Okay. I found another one. This one's a little bit um, darker than what I was using. So hopefully I can kind of blend it in together. Just have like different areas of it be a little bit darker maybe and parts be lighter. And you can make it work that way. But again, since I'm going to come in with pencils, that um, I should be all right. I'll be able to blend things out. Okay, got that done. Now I'm gonna pick out some pencil colors to do some shading on here. I'm gonna pick out a couple of greens and a couple grays um, just so that I can have a good variation. So I'm gonna go with, let's see what's close to this color. Mm, that's a little too light. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna pick this forest color 
and then maybe this green grass will go with those two and then I'll pull the lime green or the leaf green as well just to have another green in there and then in the grays probably gonna grab let's grab this charcoal and um, the flat black all right, I'm going to start with the greens. I'm going to set my grays aside, and I'm just going to use those kind of to add in different shades and stuff or shadows and things like that. Um, so basically, they've got a lot of the detail drawn in. So all you have to do is just kind of highlight that detail. So specifically underneath where the mouth is, Kind of create the shad the teeth would all create shadows the mouth kind of overlaps the top part of the jaw overlaps the bottom part so i would have all of these areas create a little bit of shadow and you can see um, that the artist has drawn in a little bit of shadows around the teeth anyway it's like you know a darker uh, a thicker line kind of mimics that shadow too. All right, and then let's do, I'm gonna blend that out with this leaf green and see if I can have a nice blend. So I'm using my Black Widow pencils. I love my Black Widows. Um, they tend to do really well for me over top of alcohol markers. Um, and then this paper is phenomenal. I think I've only found one pencil set and I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was that I didn't like on this paper. Everything else I've ever used has been wonderful. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the forest and I'm going to add in wherever the artist has drawn in like these little black lines. I'm going to add some green around that. Um, and when, it, when you shade it, you want to think about um, you want to make sure that your shadow is on the same side of the lines each time, if that makes sense. So on this one, I did it on the right side of the line, right for me. I think it's still, I don't know what direction it is for you guys. And then also some of these little lines that are down here along the jaw, you can add in a little bit of that, a little bit of shading in those areas too. I'm going to hold off on these little circles. I think I'm going to add a different color in there, but along all of the, the thicker black lines, I'm going to add some shadows. All right, I'm gonna come through with my leaf green again and try to blend some of this out just a little bit. This is almost the same color as the base shade that I put on. So this will help smooth out any inconsistencies in my marker layer. And I don't have to push hard, I just have to get like a, just a nice even coat and it'll smooth all that out for me, which is really nice. That's really why I like the marker base, because even if your markers get a little streaky or you have you know, spots in there where you've missed areas, um, as long as you can find a pencil color that's similar in tone or similar in color, you've got it covered. So this is also going through and helping to blend out some of the darker shadows that I put on and just kind of even out that base layer. So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the top part here and the bottom, but for me, this area down here, you can still see it's a lot lighter in areas and this top part is nice and solid. Okay, and then with this grass green, I'm gonna pick a few areas and extend it out from where I've got my shadows. 
So I'm just doing a few spots here and there just to get a different green kind of in the mix here. So it looks like a nice camouflaged crocodile going through this green murky water and the green tall grass. I might come in with some yellow too and add some yellow to him. I'm just picking a few spots here and there. It's not it's not going to be everywhere. I'm going to try to blend it on areas where I um, do have just a patch. I'm going to try to blend it out before I stop coloring. You don't want to just have a big patch of color and then not blend it. So sometimes I'll have to come back in with my leaf green and do a little bit of blending as well. But he's looking a little more mottled. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Like he's got a little bit of camouflage basically going for him. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of this grass green on his nose. I'm gonna grab a yellow. Um, we'll just try this sunburst and see what happens. But I'm just gonna add it to the areas that would be highlights. So you can tell in some of these ridges where the highlight is on him. So on some of these guys, it's gonna be in the center of their these little, they're not actually scales, I don't think. Or maybe they are because he's a, I don't know exactly what those are. Those patches that kind of make up that, you know, that alligator pattern that you see on the, yeah. So I'm just going to use this yellow to kind of warm up some of those areas. Just areas where I think there might be a lighter problem on his nose. Okay, that really didn't do a whole lot probably for you guys, but I can see a, a slight difference in that. Okay, now I'm gonna take the black and the gray that I pulled. Um, those are not the right colors. So I have um, charcoal and flat black, and I'm gonna start with this charcoal, and I'm gonna color in these little spots on his nose with the charcoal. Um, not just on his nose, but wherever these spots are on him, I'm gonna color those in. So I'm gonna add a little bit of more shadow around his eye here. Just so he's nice and his eye stands out a little bit more. And anywhere where the shadows are super deep, I'm gonna add this charcoal in too. Now this is a warm gray, but um, when you mix it with this tone of green, it does a, a pretty good job of turning into a nice um, shadow color. Okay, I'm gonna add in some back here. Um, and then there's a few more of those spots back here, back this way. Uh, and I might draw in just a few more on some of these little There we go. I like that. And I'm going to add this flat black just, oops, just right in the really dark areas underneath his jaw here. In between the teeth. Okay. All right. So let's get his teeth done. And he's not going to have white teeth. He's going to have a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, cream colored teeth kind of. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use this oyster. I'm just gonna use this oyster. I'm not gonna color in the whole tooth in that color. I'm just gonna do like a little bit along the edges. Just give them a little bit of a different color in the tooth, but still have some of that white showing. Although there's a lot of green on the teeth, so. 
Okay. All right, and I think that he is done. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this page done so that I can show you guys the finished page. It might end up being, no, you know what? I'll finish this page and then I will show you guys the, the finished version at the end. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go off camera, do some, um, you know what? I'm gonna add one more thing. Sorry, I keep seeing things that I might, that I wanna add. I'm gonna add in a few um, spots. Instead of doing the, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Instead of having the gray little spots, I'm gonna do a little ivory, some ivory Posca on those little spots, which I think I like better than having it dark. Cause there's a lot of little spots in here and I think that that would look better. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that, I like that. And then anywhere where his, where there's a little bit of green, I'm gonna add some of this ivory to help, okay. All right, yeah, so with the magic of editing, I'm gonna come back and it's gonna be all colored and beautiful. I will see you guys again here in a second. And here's the finished page. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted to do all of the things, but <laughs> I like it. Uh, it was kind of fun. I do have some stickles on there, some gold sparkle pen on the stars and some a little bit of the houses, some black glaze pen on his eye to make it nice and shiny. Um, oh, while I'm thinking about it, I might use my clear glaze pen on his teeth. That's probably... I like to add um, the glaze pens every once in a while to just, just add a little bit of shine and just fun. I don't use them as much as I could, actually. But... All right. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a little bit of shine on there. Uh, but yeah, I really like the way this, this turned out. It was really fun. Um, and then I also did a little bit more on this page too. So um, yeah, I like the way that this is turning out. I did use my pink um, glitter Posca this guy right here, which I love these glitter pens, um, and added a little bit of dots to his back. I just thought that was a nice little touch. And I think that page is gonna be really cute when it's uh, done as well. So so those are my alligators, crocodiles, all of, all of those <laughs> guys in that family. Um, and that is how I would color them. So yeah, so that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.